So we hear the HHI. So who are you? I'm Antje. Um, I'm part of the uh, 3D Innovation Center here in Berlin. And um, these are all of our partners. What I'm doing mostly is um, the event marketing and uh, online marketing here at the 3D Innovation Center. But right now I'm giving you this little tour as well. So what is the 3D Innovation Center? We're a huge network, but what our unique selling point is actually that we have this whole place that you can see all of here. We have like around 60, uh, 600 uh, square meters where people and, and partners and everyone that works with us can put their exhibits here and we'll show them to people like you, for example. All right, so uh, let's, let's check out what you are showing here. Yeah. So um, this is actually one exhibit from the HHI itself. It's not from one of our partners. And it's the stereoscopic analyzers. And unfortunately, you can't see it in the camera, but it's 3D, so you can yeah. see can yourself in 3D. Yeah, of yeah. course. So these are 3D sunglasses, or why they, no? Well, you can use them as sunglasses as well, but they're mainly polarized 3D glasses. Oh, this is cool. Basically the same ones you use in the cinema. Oh, whoa, this is cool. Yeah, and then you can see here, over there, yeah. Um, if you put like feature points on, just what's a feature point? Feature point are these points. I'm going to show you. So uh, it only works do. with glasses. This one? Um, no. Here, that that one doesn't. It, here you have the yeah. two pictures for both of your eyes, okay. so you don't need the glasses here. But what it does is, if I come closer to the camera, you see that yeah. the that the points are turning red. Yeah. That's because I'm too far, uh, too close to the camera. Okay. So uh, what the HHI did was develop a software that um, regulates and controls these kind of mistakes you do when you're shooting in 3D. And okay. um, so as you can see here, when I go back, that this thing is coming into place again. And in the end, you have a perfect 3D picture. All right. So there's lots of development going on with 3D here. What's going yes. on here? This is our new, um, well, it's not even a prototype, it's a mock-up of one of our um, projects. It's called ASP, um, Automated Stereo Production. And um, it's a little tiny camera that has the, the software that I just, just showed you inside, as well as um, a small little rig, because um, usually if you, if you shoot in 3D, you have these huge mirror rigs, like really huge. Um, rigs that had, have two big broadcasting cameras and we have um, intelligent, small, good quality cameras in this tiny little thing. And it so makes it a lot easier, for example, to shoot in a car. Nice. So who's using this? Well, right now it's only a mock-up, so they're still developing this thing. So no one is really using it yet, but we're going to test it soon. What is this? This is just a, um, for, the, for the shoulder to put the little camera uh -huh. on it. Nice. That's a, that was a revolution of uh, uh, the new wave, Nouvelle Vague, when people had small enough so they can carry it around. Yeah. All right. Dark areas. <laughs> okay. Uh, what are these? Well, these are typical um, uh, 3D TVs that you can buy already. Um, on, one, on that one side, you can see one of, uh, it's like a trailer or um, showreel of one of our partners in Cube. They're doing okay. 3D conversion. 2D to 3D conversion. Well, but the other side is actually much more interesting. Cool 3D eyewear. Yeah. Yeah. Because um, that's what what you can see here is basically 3D without glasses, so you need don't need those anymore. Yeah. And um, as you might be able to see here, we can show um, different movies that are just coming uh, from the from the um, Blu-ray player. So it's not this, you don't need this. Well, what is we still going on need here? It. We actually only need this tiny little thing. So it's, what is that? It's, some call, it, it's, it's called FPGA, and it's just a pro programmable ship. And you can imagine like putting this into this um, 3D Blu-ray player, and then you can basically watch 3D without glasses if you have the screen for it. And the screen needs some type of a, it's like a lens software that is um, like in front of the screen. It's basically the same thing that um, you know from, you know when you, when you collected pictures or little stickers in fourth class or fourth grade, that's basically it, you know, like this riffle. Oh yeah, that one. So it's not parallax barrier? No, that's not. It's well, this one is, um, that one. That one? 
Yeah. It's not supposed to do that. Okay. So this one is? Or is not? This is different to al alioscopy. Yeah. Uh, it's one of our partners. It's, um, can't really even remember the name. Um, is it a French, com a French company? Yeah, it's a French company. Yeah. And uh, doing these, are they making many of them or just few or just test or what's going on Well, here? They're, they're, they're manufacturing many of them, but it's a tiny little camera, a uh, tiny little company. And um, they're, right now they're still doing it for, for testing, testing faces. Because, I mean, you can't buy those anywhere right now. You cannot? You cannot. Because they're way too expensive still, unfortunately. And... Um, well, but we're getting there. But to get the 3D without glasses, you need to be at a specific place in the room, no? You can't be it, everywhere? Yeah, yeah. You can't be anywhere. You have to be maybe like three to four meters away from the screen. You should actually turn off the lights so that you have like a clearer view. And um, then you may, might have to move around. You have to find your um, so-called sweet spot. Okay. And uh, what's here? Is it following my eyes? Yes, it's following your eyes, or it basically it's tracking your head, as we can call it, a head tracker. So does this 3D affect no matter where I stand, kind of, or what? Kind of, yeah. I mean, uh, of course the camera have to see, has to see your eyes, but if the camera found your eyes, then you can see it in 3D, and you can, you can also use your gestures to, um, to move that around. And basically the skull is coming out of the screen. But that's only for me, because... They're only tracking my eyes, not yours. <laughs> nice. What is the HHI here? Yeah. It's a HHI device? Uh, yeah. It's one exhibit from, from the front for HHI. Oh, this is, this is crazy. Yeah. All right. Oh, I want to see the airplane. Whoa. This is cool. Uh, with the infrared and yeah. system here going on. All right. What do you have over there? Well, what you see over there behind the green doors, it's the heart of our... Oh, the the first, first this here does uh, 84 inch 4K, right? Yes. Uh, what are you showing with this? Uh, we're showing a demo from SAS Astra, it's one of our partners. And um, what we're trying to, to show here is uh, the new standard HEVC. It's um, the following standard of H264. And um, I mean, as you can see, you see every tiny little hair of that bee over there. That's awesome. Yeah. I've always wanted to see uh, bee hairs and uh, so this is this is broadcasting satellite 4K. It's well, this one is recorded right now, but you yeah. you could yeah. So we we did it before. How many megabits do you need? Do you need like a huge amount or is pretty compressed here? Yeah, that's the thing. Like that's what HEVC is for. It's it's compressing the uh, all of the data that it gets and then puts it, puts it together. HGVC is one of the things going on here, the HHI. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Some, uh, what, what is this? Well, these are our medical demos. Um, I might be able to show you, because um, we have a 3D endoscope here. Whoa. And I um, can show you my hand, for example, and you can see it in 3D. And Without glasses 3D or glasses 3D? Glasses free. Yeah. Um, I can show you... Um, let me just switch to the recorded version because you can see it better over there. Um, oh. I don't really like to look at that, but no. you can imagine that okay. it makes it much more easier for um, people in the OR to actually uh, put concentrate. Put the needle and, where they need to put it. Yeah, exactly. And to yeah. know, is that vein behind or in front of whatever intestine or... Yeah. yeah. I, mean, I don't even want to know what they're they doing in there. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's go in the green room. Yes, exactly. What I said before, it's our little, the little height of our uh, 3D Innovation Center. It's a fully equipped uh, 3D live studio with uh, LED lights so that it doesn't get too hot in here. And um, a green screen. Yes, and two uh, camera sets that you can see here. I mean, compared to the tiny little camera I showed you earlier, this is what, what people are still, sh are still shooting 3D with. This is it's quite big. Ari Alexa. Yeah. This uh, the cheap one, no? No, that's the expensive one. <laughs> that's the expensive one. All right, yeah. so how many do you have of those? Two. Two? But two the other one, somebody 3D. took it. Yeah, yeah. They um still testing it for other things as well. But we have two of them. All right, and uh, how about this? Well, it's a, a Sony camera. So it's a typical... Um, 3D rig that uh, our partners can shoot with because everyone who's um, 
basically befriended us and uh, partnered up with us can uh, go in here and shoot their movies, trailers, whatever they want. How much are they shooting here? Well, last week we had someone here every single day. It depends. Then there's a week when there's not that much at all, but usually we have a lot of people here. And it's only about 3D? Well, you can, if you're a partner, you can shoot in 2D as well, but of course then we are like, ah, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, LED lights. Uh, so it's not too hot. That's yeah, what you said. I mean, the ceiling is not that high, so we had to figure out a way to um, make it better to shoot um, even with a small or. Low so the, the 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 reason uh, that you have this like a mirror, this is how they are have to shoot 3D. Well, the reason is, I mean, imagine you, when you put your your finger in front of your eyes and you come closer, your eyes move closer together. You know, it's like. Like this. Yeah. And then um, imagine those cameras, they have like a structure around the lens. And the structure is just too big to put the, the two lenses as uh, close together as they should be. The sa which would be the same um, difference between your eyes. So the cameras are too big, that's why you need mirror. Yeah. All right. And then you put the mirror in between, which is like half see-through. Yeah. And then um, in the end you have the pictures quite close to each other. Cool. Do you know how to use those? Well, I don't. <laughs> okay. All right. Do you have more to show? Well, we have our cinema to show. All right. Let's go check it out. That way. Oh, what is all this stuff? More stuff? Oh, you know, don't ask me to be oh, honest. Oh, this is the camera. Ari Alexa, yeah. All right. And we were just looking for I could just grab that and try it out a little bit. Well, well I mean, you probably know more about cameras than I do, so. I wouldn't. I shouldn't. Okay. <laughs> Let's go next. And apart from shooting, our partners can also uh, check out the material they just shoot it. And then they go into this tiny little cinema. 35 people fit in here. You can also use it for presentations and stuff. But you can also sit down and then... Um, can we try? Yeah. Try to Yeah, find the right stuff spot. In? You should sit in the middle from every angle. Okay. Yeah. Find your sweet spot and then we close everything. Yeah, let's close up. So, what is the content we're watching right now? EBU? Uh, yeah, that's, that's a co-production we did with the European Broadcasting Union. And this production was in 4K and 3D. So, it's uh, actual production or is it just a test production? Or what is, what, it, how do you call it? Was it was some kind of uh, test production. We, we, we wanted to show the benefits of both 3D and, 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 and 4K. Because we think that there's no competition between the two systems. But two systems need each other and so the quality of this uh, just saw it's just, I mean it's just amazing and who is this on 3d blu-rays people can get them and or somehow uh, of course you can buy this from the European Broadcast Union you can't buy it from us so we we, we, we just share the cost to produce this uh, we, we we own the content but the the rights are yeah. with the uh, European Broadcast Union so um, uh, may, may I ask you about the 3D uh, and the market and what's it called? Uh, it's been promoted. It's been the ma there's been 3D TVs for f five years or something like that. Um, how would you say? I mean, for example, like uh, 3D cinema. I was trying to ask you just before. Uh, how, how do you get the best effect on on 3D? Uh, it's, it's very important that it gets filmed exactly correctly. So you, you have to take care that the technical quality is okay. So for example, the, the cameras, you, you need to film with two cameras in order to get a stereo effect. So the cameras have to be adjusted mechanically very well that you get no artifacts there. And then you also have to take care that you obey certain rules which every stereographer, these are the people who know how to make 3D films, uh, that, that you don't uh, violate these rules. For example, you, you must not have too much depth budget in a scene, which means a lot of things in front of the screen and a lot of things 
very much behind the screen because this causes eye strain. So you normally have a so-called comfort zone where the eye feels comfortable uh, because there is a, a systematic problem with stereo uh, film and stereo TV because the, the eye is accommodating on the screen because you're watching the screen whereas the objects appear in front of the screen. And, and, and that's a certain conflict for the eye, it's a permanent conflict for the eye. And if, if the difference between the objects and the screen is too big, then uh, you get some fatigue in the eyes. So, um, it, I mean, it's totally possible to have an experience that doesn't fatigue the eye for a whole movie, right? If you're, yes, I, I wouldn't say that it doesn't fatigue at all, but it, at least you, you can make the fatigue very, very small, so that in principle you don't realize it. Although there are some people who even, they are more sensible, and the other is less sensible, and there are even maybe 5% of the population which, which cannot see stereo at all. Uh, and um, how about the, let's say, uh, a super clear 4K image and a 4K 3D image. Hmm. Do you lose anything by going 3D? Uh, do you like? Does it? Does is some kind of a blurriness or some kind of a less? Uh, because you have the glasses, so you get some. You lose something. Uh, well, what's what called you darkness what, or what do you call what it? What you normally use loses contrast or, or brightness. So, which is also one problem in, in some movie theaters because some operators of the movie theaters, they, they turn the lamps down in order to, to save lifetime for, for the lamps because the brighter they are, the, the more uh, they age and then they have to be replaced and, and this is quite expensive. Uh, on the other hand, with these shutter systems or whatever you use or polarized filters in the movie theater, in the glasses, you lose light, you lose about 60% of the light or even sometimes 80% and uh, this is a problem. Therefore, some people complain that 3D movies are dark, uh, which they wouldn't be if, if, if the lightning would be okay. All right. Uh, so this, this, I mean, this demonstration of the, the three dancers there is the best I've ever seen. It's yeah, really so this is shot in very high quality with a very good camera. So these were shot with, with two 4K cameras, although we show only 2K here in the movie theater. But outside, on, on we can show this on a 4K screen. When you go to a cinema now and watch a 3D movie, is it 4K or is it only 2D, 3D? It's, 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 uh, I, I think there are a few cinemas which can show 4K content, but most of them show only 2K content. 2K, 2K 3D, 3D or 4K 2D so far? Right, so far. Okay. But, but even most of the movie theaters show even 2K, uh, 2D 